Welcome to the Card Collector's Corner with Bill and Billy D. Hey, welcome to Card Collector's Corner. I'm Billy D. And I'm Bill. And uh, this is officially the first episode. We had tried this once before, um, but I had a little bit of technical difficulties. Um, so we're here. Uh, Bill, why don't you tell us a little bit about what we're doing here? All right. Well, you know what? We're going to we're going to talk about the hobby. We're going to rip some packs. You know, we're we're going to kind of explore some uh, ideas into the hobby. We're going to talk about the different uh, product that's coming out. Some of the older product, new products, sports, magic, Pokemon, uh, Lorcana, you name it. You know, we'll rip it. Uh, as a matter of fact, you know, along the way, if you guys have requests, uh, we'll do our hardest and we'll uh, we'll try to get it on here and break it for you. Yeah, and uh, eventually it'd be fun to see. Um, we do plan to go live. Uh, they're pre-recorded right now, but uh, it'd be a lot fun to do some live breaking too. Get some people in on the action. Maybe they want to buy a spot, something they really want to, you know, really want to take part in, but not necessarily can afford. Um, I know it's it's hard sometimes for me to get a panini box or something. But yeah. Breaks are always fun, right? Yeah, I mean, that gives you an opportunity to possibly get your favorite team or get a team at a fraction of the price and participate in a, a hobby box. Yeah. So, so what, what, what are you, what's on the plate for today? And so today we're going to do a little mix here. Uh, we are, we're we're going to save this one for last, but uh, so we've got the Press Pass uh, Premium Football. Uh, we had a handful of boxes in. I think we're down to one more after this one. Uh, I've seen some pretty neat things pulled out of here. Uh, Shador Sanders um, out of 15 auto came out of here. So there's, it uh, looks like it's collegiate guys, some guys in college still. Is it Leaf? It is, um, it's Press Pass. A leaf, but it's a Leaf, it is leaf. product. Yeah. Yes, a Leaf product. So probably a lot of high school guys. There could be some high school guys uh, in there. Some prospects that you'll want to hang on to for the next four years to see if you got something good or not. Yep. So then we've also got, I thought this would be cool. This year's 2024 Tops. It's a uh, hanger box. But I have a number of customers who have the damage box theory, right? Oh. So they believe that the damaged boxes have the hits. So I went and grabbed a, kind of a damaged box off our shelf here, and we'll kind of put it to test. We'll see what happens. What kind of hits do you think you, you could get out of I that? I mean, you know, there's always the uh, chance of autographs in top series one. You got the rookies, the parallels, the short prints. Uh, so, yeah, that could be a fun rip. Curtis Mead on card auto. Curtis Mead. <laughs> I, just, I saw it on the internet pop up. Somebody, Tampa Bay. Yeah, somebody hit that. Uh, so then we've also got the new Magic uh, Modern Horizons 3. Came out here a few weeks back, but uh, it's, it's still a very popular uh, set that just came out. And I actually played that uh, in high school, Magic. Really? Gathering. Yeah. I had a Lord of the Pit deck. The uh, Lord of the Pit. Which I really, really still wish I had, because it had four Black Lotuses inside uh, that deck. Man. Um, yeah, that would be you looking could, at like... You could probably retire. Yeah, yeah. Like, holy cow. <laughs> so then we've got the... we we On our original uh, episode that didn't quite go through, I should have brought that hit out here just to show it off, but... So we've got Flare Marvel that uh, we just got in the shop. I'm probably going to buy another box of this. I think we're getting low. It seems to be doing pretty decent. So we're going to open that. You get some fire in there. Yeah. And then we're going to kind of kick it back a little bit with some uh, little oddball stuff here. We've got Billy knows all about Star Trek. Oh, is a, that a... Um, I'm not a Trekkie. That's so, a blue yeah. pack, so it's probably it's original series. So we're going to get some Kirk. Uh, McCoy, some Spock. Um, I ripped a whole box of that. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I mean, hey, I was just opening a tub up, getting it ready for the show tomorrow, and I found all your your track cards laying all over. Oh, I, 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 I kind of donated them back. <laughs> and then we got uh, Bowling, Kingpins, 1990. Oh, 
Is this a family show? Uh, well, you know. Because I think of the movie Kingpin. <laughs> I do, too. I do, too. Yeah, so. Uh, Which gave me nightmares. <laughs> if you know the movie Kingpin, you know the scene that gives you nightmares. Yes. Yes, very much. And then we're going to go with a classic Desert Storm pack for the finish. That's cool. I remember so, opening those as a uh, not as a kid really, but younger. Right. Um, I got the USS America in. in one oh, of those that's stars, cool! Very cool. Which my dad actually served on. Um, no kidding. Kind of nice. cool. Kind of cool pulling that card. So, what do you think, Billy? What should we start off with first? I guess we go from lowest to highest, which would be that dollar pack of Desert Storm. Let's go. Let's go, Desert Storm. So, yeah, so the funny story about these Desert Storm is, um, of course, I deployed overseas. Um, my first deployment in 03, of course, we were searching for Saddam. Um, so one of my one of the sto cool stories I have, and it kind of goes with this, is I had a Saddam Hussein card that I took over for whatever reason, you know, and I put a big old target on it and whatnot, but... We had a uh, we had a mission in Fallujah, and we had we had did a massive raid. And one of the houses that we hit, um, we went in there, and there was tea boiling on the uh, the stove. So and, that means somebody was yeah, somebody was just there. Oh, and so our inter the phone uh, rang while we were in there, and uh, in our interpreter answered it, and somebody was asking for Saddam Hussein. So he was just so sitting there like, maybe drinking we, some tea. Like we, he was making tea and heard that we were getting ready to raid the place and underground tunnel, whatever. He got wow. out of there just before we got there. So that's that's kind of a now these neat are little... these are from these are from Papa Bush's war though. Yeah, right, right, but, are... right, right, right. But we there were still the Saddam Hussein cards in, in this is from the OG yep. Desert Storm. Wow, that's a cool card. So that's kind of neat. That's a sticker card, isn't yep, it? Yep, that's a sticker. United Nations. Stinger. Stinger Missile. The Desert Hawk. Ooh, F-18. F-18 Hornet. We got the Tomahawk Cruise Missile. I wonder how far we've come since Man. that. Oh, I know. UH-60. Yeah, it yeah, looks oh, like man. they're out of yeah. the Fallout video. I'll game. tell you what. Wearing this stuff in a desert was miserable. It was miserable. 100, 130 it was miserable. degree weather. Like, Luckily, I didn't have. I had to carry it with me in Iraq, but I didn't have to wear it like these guys. Oh, the Hummer. The Hummer. I'm very familiar with that. And that's that's before they became popular over here. Right, right. right. So another story is when I was in Iraq, we took the doors off so that we could have weapons pointed out all the doors. Oh. People thought our unit was crazy for doing that. And in the trenches. That's a cool card, too. So, I mean, these are cool. I mean, because it, it's history, right? Mm. It's It's just kind of... Shows you a little bit of, of what, you know, Desert Storm was all about. And that, that um, reminds me, that's one that I'm trying to get in here is some pieces of the past. Yes. That's a cool set. In fact, we'll talk because we'll, I'll show you. There's some stuff that's available I just I just got. And now uh, we'll see if we can get some of that and rip some of that on here. Yeah, that would be cool. Maybe get a, a like a Benjamin Franklin autograph or a, yeah. a T-Rex tooth. <laughs> right. I mean, I mean it, it's just or, tons of stuff. You know, I mean, a pinup girl's garment. You know, yeah, they I mean, got all sorts. There's of stuff. everything, right? I yeah, mean, it's really cool set. Annie Oakley's piece of her rifle. Yeah, uh, yeah. The muzzle loader. <laughs> all right, we're going with bowling kingpins. Well, on the back it says there are action photos, wood green card back, and random autographs. No. So, Billy, what, which autograph would you want to pull out of here? Bill Murray. <laughs> <laughs> that would be... With his hair, like, flip back. <laughs> Sorry, that's the Kingpin movie. Not uh, not the cards. I don't know any <laughs> bowlers from 1990. Well, we've got... Let's check it out. We've got Donnie. 
Oh, yeah. Old, old Don. Bob Benoit. Actually, I think that name sounds familiar. He sounded like Bowler. He was Chris's brother, Chris Benoit, the wrestler. <laughs> Hugh Miller. Yeah, yeah. He liked to chug a beer before he bowled. <laughs> Barry Asher. Famous for his haircut. Uh, Amleto. Manicelli. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Ellen. Wait. Do we have this guy already or no? They gave you a double. We, we had a double of Don. Don must be a hell of a bowler. <laughs> double some... another. Oh, another Bob. Ben... <laughs> it's a double pack. <laughs> you talk about junk era. <laughs> so we <laughs> got doubles of everything in here. <laughs> they used give me a two of each. <laughs> two of each. All right. Well, that's interesting, right? Yeah. I mean, I mean, hey. I, and I have no idea. That's that you didn't know. That's what the 1990 Kingpin edition. It was the share with your buddy. Share with you, your buddy. You rip and you. <laughs> you both get one. Right. Well. All right. That was that was interesting. What do you got? We got the track oh, Star man. Trek. Now I hope you pull a hollow Enterprise out of this. The the coveted holographic Enterprise. Okay, is that that's a tough pull? I'm yeah, guessing. Is, I ripped a whole case. <laughs> I mean, I ripped a whole box, not a case. Nothing. I ripped a whole box, and there was I got the whole set in the box. Like the box basically came with the whole set. Okay, but not the hollows. But not the hollows. Do you get any hollows? None. None. No hollows. And there is, there is, they're in there. I think they're case hits, like true case hits. Right. Oh, Spock. Spock. I love these. See, these the are little the cartoon ones. Yeah, these are the That's coolest part neat. from the comic books. They put the Those comic book neat. covers in there. Good episode. And that's the equipment. That's the, the see in the original Star Trek, they used a big tricorder. By Next Generation, they had the little flip ones. Hmm. Oh, that's a that's a. City on the Edge of, of Forever. That was a time travel episode. Okay. Very good. Again, this is foreign to me. So good thing we got Billy here. The Devil. That was an episode also. Very, very, uh, the dark. Very cool cards. Then we got Leonard McCoy. Damn it, Jim. I'm a doctor, not a baseball card. <laughs> Physician, huh? Looks futuristic. Yeah. A futuristic yeah. Star Trek, you know. Who's this? Bruce it, Lee? Oh, huh, no. Oh, I thought it was Bruce that's Lee. Sulu, that's Sulu. Oh. <laughs> oh, my. And then we got Tomorrow is Yesterday. Yeah. The the great thing about Star Trek was is they, 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 they were what 1963 thought the future was going to be, right? Like, right. So some of it they got right. And you know why they got it right was because they influenced nerds of the past to create inventions that we now use, cell phones and things right. like that, all, all created by people who watch Star Trek and got. Now I used to watch the Jetsons and yeah, the same yeah, thing, you know. Yeah. I remember my dad watching Star Trek a lot, and I, I just wasn't something I got into. But yeah, I, was a, right. I was a big Trek nerd when I was a kid. I even went to the. Um, Star Trek convention a few times. Oh, no kidding. Yeah. I, Did you uh, dress up? Um, yes. Yeah, unfortunately. I, uh, there was about a three year period in LA where I was part of Star Trek radio and I was a DJ. Um, there was um, an MMO kind of like a World of Warcraft or, you know, those, those yeah. online games. Yep. Based solely, solely in Star Trek. Right. So we were an online DJ company that would broadcast into the game. And I played music. I did Pink Floyd and classic rock. And I was um, cosplaying as a captain on my ship, the USS TARDIS. I mixed mm. Doctor Who in there. And um, we, were, we were signaling to the stars uh, from the bridge of my ship, bringing you the classic hits of, of, of centuries ago. Uh, uh, because they were really classic. 
Yes. Oh, there you have it. Billy is a nerd. <laughs> We're all nerds, though, right? I mean, in our own way, we all got our, our nerd in us. All of us collectors. And here's another thing I'm ner- I nerd out about is these Marvel cards. I, you know what? I, so when it comes to Marvel, I, I kind of I'm picky about what I like. I mean, I like Spider Man, but some of them I'm like, okay, whatever. I love Spider Man. I loved '90s X Men. Yes, uh, which yep. I was so glad when they brought it back on Disney. Yep. Um, green. Now, when it comes to the Marvel cards, I I love the 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 artistic of it. Oh I mean, yeah. The, I love the classic. You, you're putting some of those on your auction. Too. Yeah. Oh yeah. The right. vintage. Yeah. Uh, some of them. Marvel just, cards are cool. They look amazing. Um, this is a cool set. This kind of throwback to that. Oh yeah, they are, aren't they? Ooh. We've got okay. So Kang. That's, Kang the Conqueror. Boy, these are really nice looking cards. Oh, you got a nice little hit there. There's a little shiny. So we're gonna put. Oh. Scourge, yeah, these are these are really nice. These are actually cards. really nice quality. They look a lot like the like the signature series that they had back in nineties. The They're really actually pretty neat here. Oh, Doctor Strange! Doctor Strange, that's cool. And he's given like the yeah, let's yeah, go, yeah. All right, so we've got something really cool and silver. Oh, here. oh, is that Venom? Man, I think it is. All right. Let's just cut to the chase. Oh, oh no. It's oh. Archangel. Oh, that man. That is still a cool card. Holy cow. Look at that. That is sweet. You've gotten really good luck. We have. Yeah. The two that we've gotten, I think we've got. I mean, this is some kind of an insert. Chronicle Blast. The first, the first time we tried to do the first episode, which this is the first episode. There were some audio issues, but we ripped one of these and got a coin card that was just... Um, and it was the only card in the pack. Yeah, one card in the pack. That, it was a case hit, um, and, and it was uh, Black Widow, and it had the Avengers logo on it, yep. which you could come in uh, and buy. If yeah, you, 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 you He's got it right in the showcase. That's cool. That's really neat. Yeah, I, that, that's fun. Speaking of audio... Might as well do a an in 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 <laughs> check on this. Oh yeah, make we're sure good. we're still rolling. Oh, we're still going. I usually, when I produce these things, I have the headphones on and I'm I'm listening and making sure everything's right. going good. But I cannot listen to myself. Yeah. So that would that would bug me too. So what do you you think Nash? You think at nationals we're gonna see any of this non sports stuff? I don't know. It's the National Sports right. Card Convention, but I tell you what, I'm going to be walking around as Pikachu. I guarantee you that <laughs> there will be a little, a little bit of fun going on. That'll be. Uh, I'm I'm excited. I mean, it's our first time going, so I think it's it's going to be uh, it's going to be like a kid in a candy <laughs> store. All right, so we've got the Magic Modern Horizon Three. So I I don't know a ton about magic. I can tell you a little more about Pokemon and and what's being played in, in decks and stuff. But any Black Lotus is in this? I don't think so. That'd be cool though. So we're gonna rip it and see. Do we know what the major hits are? So in I this? know what rare ones are. I I'll be able to tell you and show you the rare ones. So this is what a lot of the Magic uh, collectors have been telling me that they love these here. Uh, well, this one here is, seems to be numbered 30 out of 54. I haven't seen that before. Artist series there? What is yeah. that? So I haven't seen one numbered like this. So what it is, is it's an art card. Whoa. Look at that. That The looks art cool. is incredible. So everybody is digging these. Art card? That's it shows 30 out of 54. So I got to verify is it is there 54 in the set or is this actually a numbered card? Modern Horizons cards with extended artwork are numbered 447 to 446. The texture for foiled borderless planeswalkers 
Oh, these are their their numbers. I'm not seeing anything about numbered numbered. Okay. Maybe that's just the art series. There's 54. Still pretty cool. Yeah. And then you find questions online if that they're legal to play, but I don't see what what would be play. It's just right. an art card, isn't it? Yeah, it is. So here we go. We're going to lead off with a little foil. All of them are shimmy shiny. No, not all of them. Oh. But so this one is, it's like, this is basically like a, like a. Um, yeah, that's your, your you land, you yeah, play it, land. and then you turn it sideways. I play kinda, a little. Kind of like, like energy for Pokemon, yeah, yes. from what I understand. Yeah. Okay. All so, of the games are kind of similar. Now, what I do it. know is the gold symbols mean they're rares. So if they're gold. So you got two rares? So it looks like two rares right here. So we'll have to see what the prices are looking like. And if you're a magic guy, you could be watching going, oh yeah, my god, right. look at that! Yeah. But I figured we'd, we'd show off a, a pack and kind of see what you guys think about it. And You know, I have noticed you've been getting more people in Asking yeah, for magic. So it might be making a comeback. And and like I tell everybody that comes in the door, I said, if I get more people in for magic, I'll carry more magic. So we actually just recently added a really cool magic binder um, with some one to five dollar uh, magic cards. So we're uh, we're kind of bumping our magic up because we are getting more magic. People Next thing you know, you have a magic tournament. going That's on. that's the goal. So that's cool. That's our art card. And then we've got, looks like, a couple of uh, rares. Yeah. So looks like, uh, what is that plant? Looks cool. Yeah, it is. Looks. So there's, there's the Modern Horizon 3. Pretty cool. I, I do like the art cards. And you got, got a box already. of that in the shop now, yep, too. We just got a brand new box a couple days ago. You better come in before they're sold out. They're, they're going to move fast. Well, all right. Time to um, test the old damage box theory. Got an auto in so there. So I know a lot of customers will ask me, hey, do you have any damage boxes? And I'm like, what? You like, yeah, they firmly believe that damaged boxes have the big hits. And I'll tell you what, I have to say that I, I, I believe it was our customer, uh, Ben Kuhn, came in. We had just gotten a box of Series 1 Tops Blasters. I opened a brand new case, all right? And he looked, and he found one that was dented. He's like, this is the one. Believe it or not, he pulls a home field advantage no Ellie way. Della Cruz out of there. I'm like, wow. you gotta be. And it wasn't damaged it. though. No. I'm like, why would you want right. your lucky box to yeah. be damaged? Right. You could have like a really nice card in there that's that's bent. Yep. So let's see. We're we're gonna put it to test here. And I didn't bring my knife, so we're gonna have to old school it. We're gonna have to rip into it with your teeth. Yeah. <laughs> there we go. Just get in there. Meanwhile, I'll, I'm gonna. I'll, I'm curious to see what maybe some of the the hits are. Top series one. So this is a hanger, and it says, "Look for exclusive yellow parallels." You got Dela Cruz. He's the big one that everybody's normally. Oh, there's yeah. That the, he comes right up on on as like the first one. Yeah. Um, Acuna. So there it is. It's one big pack. Oh. In there. Is it like a Selly? Yep. All right. So oh, that'd be cool to have one of those blueprints. Those are kind of cool. The blueprint yeah. inserts? Yeah. They look kind of like a... Yeah. Let's 
or the patch, the medallion, the medallion home stadium yeah. medallion. I think those are exclusive. In just or there's like an blast. There's an Ellie Dela Cruz auto in there, right? Now that would be that would be top notch. All uh, right, so I I do like the look of tops this year. Now, do they do they put their their cards in any order? I you know it's hard to say. Like Pokemon, you you take yeah. three from the back, I, and I, then I do think the inserts and everything are in the back. It looks like, but you could still get some cool base, right? Or some short prints variations. There's a tigers. Tiger. He's a Dodger now. Oh no, that's that went quick. That quick. <laughs> He'll probably become a star too. This guy just made his major league debut. He's uh he's a stud. That's a good card right there. And Nolan Ryan. <laughs> oh man. So you got the bad you things. Get you get a lot of cards, lot. though. You get a lot of cards, but again, right? It's a lot of like, what are you gonna do with these cards? That's it's a lot of base. Harry Carpenter. Pete Crow. He's pretty solid. This guy sucks bad. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, they just moved him to the bullpen. Everybody's mad. Why Why move him to the bullpen? Just release him. He's responsible for six losses for the Tigers. This year. Ouch. And I thought they were going to do really, really good. They got a lot of Tiger cards in here. There is, actually. Ooh. What is this? Women in baseball. Ooh, I think that might be... I haven't ever seen any of those. I wonder... I didn't get to them on the I list. I wonder if that's kind of a rare... Rare pull. I could be wrong, but I haven't. I have. I've seen a lot of tops opened, and that's the first one I've seen of that. Jessica Mendoza. Mendoza. Yeah, that's the insert. Women in baseball tops rip. In uh, it says it's in series two. How'd that end up in series one? Oh, this is series two. Oh. I didn't even I didn't even notice this was series two. Um, Rainbow foil Owen Miller. It's like a five dollar card. Okay. Bryce Harper. Slab it up. Oh. Oh, that's cool. Covering the field, Shohei Otani. Yeah, that's always good, right? Yeah. Yet. Oh, I like those. Yeah, these are always nice. Oh, Jason Dominguez. He's one of the top guys. And then our yellows. The Pirates, which is a uh, color match. team match. Yeah. Color match. And Marcel Ozuna. So I would say, I don't know. At what? What's the... Cost twenty a box. You get your value. Yeah, I mean, close. close I think you right? get your value. You, you got a five dollar. I mean, women in baseball card. Right. Or, you got the Dominguez is probably a five dollar card. I mean, you got the Shohei. So, and a couple other key rookies. So, I mean, I'd say overall it was a solid box. It wasn't over the top. Yeah, we were. Whoa! Right. But I, I would feel okay. If I open this, right, and yeah. I paid $20, I'd be like, okay, solid, you know? So, nice. And I didn't realize that was Series 2. I swear it was. I kind of want to get in on this uh, other, this last box. Uh, Pick a number from, like, 1 to 10. This <laughs> last box is interesting. I'm this excited one? for this last this box. This press pass? Yeah, there could be something really cool in there. So I'm hoping we pull something cool. It's um, so it's the press pass, the premium football, and I don't know. It, it, I know press pass has been out for a while, but did Leaf has it has it is it like just made a comeback this year? Because a lot of people were like, "Oh, press pass is back," 
So I don't know if it's something that Leaf kind of brought back this year. Maybe I took a break, you yeah, know, for a couple years. Or so again, we're gonna have to let us know in the comments. Get crazy here with the this one's this one's gonna be cool. It's gonna be something something fire in this. And we do have another box of this. And Leaf Leaf so. is generally. Um, because the va like like all right like let's say this was a panini box right right you're looking at an eight hundred dollar box easily yeah I mean at least with the price point of leaf it's more fun to right rip. I agree it's affordable you're still gonna get your hits you're not gonna be crying right when so, when all you rip is like uh you know oh I hear the I hear the machine going. Oh, this is fancy, huh? All right. So, a box in a box. Yeah, that's fancy. And I mean, you know, it's not like you're gonna you're gonna rip open the box and get just a Kenny Pickett. Right. Get out of my box. So, and I think I in, you know, last year and this year, I think Leaf. And wild card are kind of making a comeback because they're, they're wild card for sure. Yeah, yes. wild card definitely. But I think Leaf is trying to get there too. And and I think what I mean, Leaf has is the the Leaf is really taking advantage of of nil. Yeah. Um. Yep. And I mean, they got you got high schoolers now with million dollar deals signing autographs. Yeah. <laughs> um. So you really are in prospecting mode when you go for the Leaf stuff. Right, because you could get an auto of a kid that that is going to be dynamite four or five years. And for the hobby, I think that's great. I think it. I think for the younger collectors, right? I think you know, even us older collectors. I mean, hey, cool man, this guy's a, he's going to be a senior in high school. We can kind of follow him in high school, and then into college, and then into the pros. And then I if mean, he really takes off, you got yourself a nice, nice. Hit. Yeah, yeah. And then with wild card, I think it's their artwork. Yeah, they I do really too. stepped up the game they with have. their artwork. Yep. And when uh, you don't have a license. And you, you right. So you got to do something, right? I really can't wait to see what Tops does. Yes. I already know it. They're going to follow basically what they what their 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 footprint in in baseball, right? Cuz so like like we were talking earlier, the home field advantages could will, will be, be like the new downtown downtowns. You know. Oh, we got a number so, right there on the bottom. Yep, and I don't know, so we got a sealed case, and I'm not sure. So it's a box in a box in a case, <laughs> right? So lots of packaging. So here. I mean, that they take this good of care to me means they're, you know they're going to be right. They're not cards. they're not just junk junk. So let's see what we get. And I believe here. some of these are actually metal. Really? Right? And it going oh. to say five metal cards and. All right, so I don't know where the hits are right offhand, so we're just going to go from the front. And right so, off the bat, we got Xavier Legat, Legit, Legit, Too see. Legit to Quit. <laughs> Xavier Legat. Yep. Let's see, Xavier Legat is 23 years old, plays for the Carolina Panthers. He is drafted. Yeah. He is a Panther. All right. Boom. We have Trayvon Henderson. Trayvon Henderson. Trayvon Henderson is on the Ohio State Buckeyes. He is a running back. Buckeyes. Boo. And how's the back of these look? These are the base, right? Right. So these, these are the are base. base. The card stock, they kind of look like a spectra. So this is their metal. This is what they call metal. Okay. So, oh, Cameron, Cameron Ward. Cameron Ward. He didn't get drafted, did he? Is he still playing? No, oh, she was trying to talk. Huh. Cameron Ward. Cameron Ward. Ford. 
Oh, you. Cameron Ward. I do that so I don't have to spell it. He is, uh, oh, here you go. Columbia High School. He's 22 years old. 22 years old. No. No, he's not in high school. Okay. Oh, for the Miami Hurricanes. Okay, I thought he was yeah. Okay, I thought he was with one of the Florida teams. Okay, so he's still in college. Yeah, he's still Miami, in college. And and Miami I know kid. I know pros, so forgive me people that knew right off the bat who he was. <laughs> so we got Jer- Jermaine, Jer- Jermaine Burton. 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 Jermaine Burton is 23 years old. He's an American football wide receiver for the Cincinnati Bengals. Bengals. So you are getting some 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 players. Yeah. All right. So oh, now here we it looks go. like we're. Oof. All right. So we've got purple Matthew Sluka. Matthew Sluka with the purple reflection. Matthew Sluka is an American football quarterback. Thank you. Is he a high schooler? He is a football quarterback for the UNLV Rebels. UNLV. Let's see, is that is that numbered? Yeah, out out of 20. twenty. Wow. See that? There's your out prospect. Of twenty. So that one could be. Oh, we got a throwback. Oh, Adrian, Adrian Peterson? Peterson? Don't need to look that one up. Nice. Is that numbered, too? That's going to be numbered. Yep, but Out of there's, what? There's something really cool. Oh, there's I, a first auto. Dude, I know. How many autos are in here? Five, I think. Oh, my goodness. Dude. All right, so I'm going to do something here. because I think there's something really special in there. We kind of seen this guy. Oh, who is that? So let's... Is that, what is it, Jordan Baker? Javon Baker? Javon Baker. Baker. That Sounds is a, familiar. Boy, that's a neat card. Javon Baker. Fields of Fury. So that yeah. card is numbered out of 25. Who is this kid? Wow, these are some pretty cards. Javon Baker uh, is 22. He plays for... Played for Alabama and now the UCF Golden Knights of Central Florida. Okay. All right. We're going to go from the bottom because I think underneath this is a doozy. Really? I think so. Well, that's I think cool. So, so we're going to cool. go from the bottom. All right. We got a quarterback, it looks like. DJ Lagway. DJ. Lagway is a football player. He's 18 years old, oh. and he plays for Willis High School. Willis, look at this. And he is now a Florida Gator. It's a Florida pack. Nice. And that is numbered out of 20. Wow. So we got a we got a Golden Knight, we got a Hurricane, and and, and, uh, and we gator. got a Gator. That's cool. Oh, these these are actually really nice looking cards. I'm surprised more people haven't been biting on these. Jordan McLeod quarterbacks, man. Let's take them. Jordan McLeod is a quarterback. Uh, he's 24 years old. He plays for the Texas State Bobcats. Texas he played State. for the South Florida Bulls. Uh, so again, uh-huh. another Florida, another Florida guy. connection. Okay, and that reflections is numbered out of ten. Wow, ten of ten. Holy cow! Wow. All right. So, all right, we got Kyle Parker. Oh. Kyle Parker. Like a receiver, maybe? Um, is it? It wants to say he's a baseball player. If it's this, uh, am I getting the name right? No, oh, because he is a base. Because there is already a baseball player named Kyle Parker, but he is an LSU wide receiver. LSU. Yeah. I mean, they've produced some pretty decent receivers. Yeah, and uh, he ran the hundred. 
Ran 100 meter times of 10.89 and 11.13. Um, he ran a 23.04 in the 200 and long jumped 17. Uh, 8.5 as a sophomore. Wow. Uh, he's he's going to be... He's going to be decent. Yeah. All that right. one's one to hold on to. All right. So now we've got... Well, I think, and I could be wrong. Hopefully you're right. I think we've got a one-of-one one coming. It's pretty good box anyway. I think we've got a one-of-one one printing plate coming up. Ooh. I, I, let's well, it see. does give printing plate vibes. And it's yeah, autoed. It's auto-ed. Oh! oh a one of one printing plate. One of one. Mazeo Bennett. M A Z E O. Yep. Yeah. A one of one for autograph. Printing plate. He is a South Carolina wide receiver. University of South Carolina. Nice. From Greensville, South Carolina. Made 25 catches for 661 yards and five touchdowns last season. Nice. Not bad. Wow. This so, was fire. Yeah, that's good. And you want to know the cherry on top? We didn't even look at the back of this. That's got to be numbered, too. Out of five. Whoa. Holy cow. Yeah, I mean. That's damn. cool. That's a cool card. Okay. I, I'm i impressed. Yeah. There's, I mean, there's still one more box of that here. Too. Yeah. Yeah. There's one more box on the shelf. Even though I want to rip it, I promise I'll save it for you guys. Somebody come in and get it. Because I'm tempted. Get it before it's ripped. I'm tempted. Trust me. Because you got resale oh. value there. Man, that's. Resale and probably I'm gonna hold a couple hold, of them. Hold some of those, you know. Wow, that's cool. So out of this draft class, who's your hold, sell, uh, trash? You guys coming into the yeah, NFL? Coming into the NFL right now. Who <gasps> whose you cards know, would you hold? Whose cards would you get rid of now? And whose cards would you say oh, you know, are going to be worthless? I really, I really like Bo Nix in in Denver. So Bo Nix would be your. I what? would. He'd be a hold. Hold Bo Nix. He'd be a hold. I think. Sell. Yeah. Yeah. Who'd you sell? Sell. Ah, oh, man. I'm a Bears fan, guys. I am. I am not investing in Caleb Williams. So sell. I, I'm Caleb. saying sell Caleb. Then who would you trash? Who would you? Oh, trash. Man, I'm trying to think of who else is out. And it's a gamble, right? Because we don't. Yeah, know. I mean, it's it's tough to say. I, I'm I'm not really sure who I would trash. If, it, if it's me, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to hold, I'd say hold Bo Nix. Yeah. I would sell any Caleb Williams I'd got, and I'd probably trash J.J. McCarthy. That's tough. That's <laughs> tough, but I can, I can see it. Uh, you know, an, another guy that I think I would hold is the uh, our kid that we got drafted from Washington, the uh, receiver, Ozo. He's, I think he's going to be a stud. So. Well, here yeah. we go. Well, that's it. Uh, we've gone 43 minutes and 45 seconds. If you've watched this long, thank you. You're going to be a fan because you've actually enjoyed sitting here and listening to us yap for uh, almost the better part of an hour. So, Heck yeah. Thanks for uh, tuning in, guys. Um, looking forward to doing a, a bunch more, and uh, we're going to have fun with it. And then one of them will be probably some national coverage yes soon, when so. when do you think our next show will be next well, we week we can do them weekly and then the so third one will be a, a national third show. will be national so the next show uh stay tuned we're going to talk a little bit about the nationals and then we'll go live or at the national something at the national so, so. sounds good thanks for tuning in later